This monkey, in a padded cradle, led the pioneers of space travel. Placed inside a rocket, he was one of the first living creatures to ride 40 miles up into the stratosphere. Before humans ever set foot in space, we sent fruit flies, monkeys, chimps and dogs. Now as Sunita, Williams and Butch Wilmo find themselves stuck in space for 8 months, let's look at what animal flights taught us about changes in human body in space. Back in 1947, fruit flies were the first to go, launched on Nazi V2 rockets left over from World War II. They just barely reached space, but the mission was a success. The flies came back with their genetics unchanged, despite exposure to space radiation. Their tiny size and genetic similarities to humans made them perfect for the job. Then came Albert II, a monkey in 1949. But he did not survive his return to Earth due to a parachute failure. Around the same time, mice were launched. The first living creatures to return to Earth from such a distance certainly seemed to be all right. In the 1940s and 50s, the Soviet Union and US space program sent numerous species of animals into space. But all these were just suborbital flights. Until 1957. A three-year-old female dog named Laika made an orbital space flight around the Earth, but she did not survive the entire mission. By 1960s, things were getting better. Two dogs were the first to survive the orbit and return safely. These successes showed that it was possible to send living beings to space and bring them back alive. Then there was Ham, a chimpanzee, who in 1961 proved that tasks could be performed in space. Months of training had prepared him not only to feel at ease in his space capsule, but also to operate a series of buttons to control his own comfort. In 1963, France sent their first animal to space, a cat. She spent five minutes in weightlessness with electrodes implanted in her head to monitor her brain. Although she landed safely, she was euthanized after two months for her brain examination. It was later admitted that they learned nothing useful from the autopsy and no more cats were sent to space. Fish, a spider and tadpoles were sent to space to test if they could lay eggs or spin a web in microgravity. The results were fascinating. A spider named Arabella spun the first web in space and frog eggs hatched into tadpoles despite the lack of gravity. These experiments were crucial in understanding how living organisms adapt to space. On April 12, 1961, Soviet cosmonaut Yuri became the first human to fly in space, opening a whole new chapter in space exploration. Because of these space flights, today we know that spending long periods in space can lead to muscle loss, weakened bones and other health issues. For instance, NASA astronaut Frank Rubio recently returned from a record 371-day mission. After spending so much time in space, he was so physically drained that he needed help getting out of the capsule. Which is why astronauts exercise for around 2 hours daily using Earth-like routines. A normal week in space is designed to mimic astronauts' routine on Earth as much as possible and consists of 5 days of work and 2 days of rest. Now their extended stay could offer new insights into the effects of long-term space travel on the human body. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.